So a moment ago you were telling me about the balance between uh, material and, and body and sensory, the external mm -hmm. world and the spiritual world. And compared to 100 years ago today, the balance is maybe not so good or too much emphasis one way. Mm -hmm. um, so in, in the old days, um, physical survival is the, their st strong interest. But on the other hand, uh, life is slow, the pace itself, and there's a lot of time to to feel, think. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> and no internet. <laughs> no, no TV. Internet. No, no, ra no maybe a little outside radio. information. Yeah. Outside information is really, really limited. Uh -huh. And that means that the people's interest, of course, uh, physical survival is important but um, but also probably they 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 have time to um, think about or the spiritual side of um, our life or other other especially inside people maybe people have more time to observe what within yourself I mean and and uh, um, I talked about the reading but when you read you are doing that you have a lot of time to think mm. but the information that that I that comes into my eyes and and other sensory organs is really limited compared to the internet information oh, yeah <laughs> of course and that means then while you're reading, you you think, and and sometimes uh, it's like uh, observing the yourself inside of your status of your mind, and you have more time to um, think. You you just cannot stop uh, the flow of your <laughs> what should I say, flow of your impressions, <laughs> reflections, uh -huh. ideas. Yes, that exactly. Um, they say some authors uh, have to walk around when they're writing or getting ideas. Mm -hmm. If they sit, their mind is just going somewhere else. Yeah. But when they're walking, they have a direction of purpose. Or some people driving, if they're driving a long distance and uh, the traffic is not dangerous, they can just almost, right. like they're That's asleep, they can let their mind drift this way and this way. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I like uh, driving. Um, uh, in the countryside, <laughs> sometimes that, that just for that sake, <laughs> for that matter. Um, artificial. So, so, but you were, uh, said you were worried when I asked you about things about the future. You said this balance oh, yes, worries yes, you. Yes, what what yes, is it about that that you are uh, anxious? So about? people used to have more time to think and uh, feel, and the the interest com goes inside your own uh, self mm -hmm. mind. But these days, it's it's going outside. Okay. And it's it, especially to the material abundance is available. In the old days, it's not available, even if you, you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's all, most of the thing material wealth comes uh, as a luck mm -hmm. in the old days. Mm -hmm. But these days, if you man manage wisely, then uh, um, it's available. Yeah. So so people develop a lot of interest in outside. And forgetting to observe inside. So it's or, a kind of escape, escapism. If you're looking for the new uh, car yeah, to buy or yeah, a new not, thing not, to. Now that you mentioned it, yeah, it is. It is an escape. And the consequences, if you don't develop your spiritual thinking, mm -hmm. then you have a very poor life, very empty life. Mm, so, so, um, that I observe uh, there's a tendency that the people. See, uh, physical um, um, wealth um, grows uh, big, while uh, spiritual, um, what should I say, uh, uh, <laughs> richness. So yeah, richness. Speak, is good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stay, uh, goes, goes down, down mm. relatively. So mm. the imbalance, okay. material um, interest, and uh, 
spiritual interests. There's a big imbalance. So it's difficult to be rich in the outside world so. and the I, inside world? I don't think or so. Or poor? I don't think so. Um, so the, the, what, what the, what's um, the future generation or the generation at present? Um, uh, which, uh, the f present or the future generation's um, challenge. Uh, challenge, yeah, challenge is to balance the two, and I mean the material richness and spiritual richness. Both are important. Both are important. Mm -hmm. After all, uh, spiritual existence and uh, material existence, or physical existence, are are looks the two different things, but uh, they, they cannot be separated. Mm. They're, they're one piece of ourselves. Okay. And there's a Buddhist uh, uh, teaching that uh, many things are like that. Superficially, uh, two things are separated, looks separated, but they are so abundant. It's just like a uh, like male and female? Male female, of course, and that's one. Human example. animals? Mm -hmm. Or the uh, coin, uh, what do you say? Two sides of the Two coin. Two sides of the coin, like the uh -huh. life and death, uh -huh. like that, and physical and uh, spiritual. It can be se separated, looks separated, but uh, they're, they're one. You just cannot. Um, be just on one side, unless uh, at least, at least while we are in this world, okay. this world consists of material uh, things. So, and the happiness, happiness has a lot to do with the spiritual status of yourself. There's one thing. One thing is clear that uh, material abundance and uh, spiritual poorness. Uh -huh. Those it's a common are not pattern. <laughs> pattern, but uh, th they cannot be happy. Mm -hmm. But material... Um, poverty. And poverty, or... Well, extreme poverty will lead you to <laughs> the spiritual uh, decay, so to speak. Also. also. But uh, certain... Um, uh, I don't know, modest, modest material uh, well, of wealth mm -hmm. and spiritual balance. That, that's people can be happy. Why not? Uh, material wealth and spiritual richness. Richness. Mm -hmm. Both can go together. And that's a challenge for this generation. Generation. And one thing that uh, worries me about uh, the recent trend is that uh, about uh, science, the tendency of science. Science tend to uh, regard these two aspects like. As a, as as being a one and uh, one and what should I say? Uh, there, there there's a different um, different way of uh, observing these two aspects. Science from the Buddhism. Buddhism, the observation of the Buddhism, or or many other religion, or the general people's uh, perspective. perspective is that there are two separate things, but they, they cannot be separated. They, they are one whole piece. That, that's very acceptable. But the science has a different, uh, different view. That is, spiritual things is the, only the material thing exists. To measure it, to calculate, to analyze. Uh, everything is materialistic and spiritual aspect is just an uh, affiliation j just something attached to the physical phenomenon okay it's a, derivative secondary secondary yeah and um, uh, I, I'm sure I'm sure there are um, modern scientists whose, whose uh, strong point is the artificial intelligence and the brain um, brain science they think um, all those are uh, hearts, uh, uh, hearts mo movement, dy dynamics of the hearts, or the feeling, emotion, thinking, and everything. But they're looking at the physical, chemical, and electrical, all of these material sides uh, of it. And and their future, and the vision of the, their future is that uh, 
someday, not very far, <laughs> some people say uh, uh, 2045. Uh, uh, Ray Kurzweil. <laughs> Ray Kurzweil. Yeah. What did what did he call that? Singularity. Singularity. And and there's time comes when everything, human like uh, uh, artificial being can be created, and even some people even believe that uh, transfer you, your your mental all of the experiences uh, and memories and knowledge and, knowledge and, and, and wisdom be, everything uh, can be transferred to artificial uh, device. But uh, that, I, I really think I, I really don't think that I don't buy that idea. There won't come a day when things are like that. Somehow I feel that uh, the, this spiritual thing is is something um, cannot be separated from the physical being, yeah. especially brain. You yeah. cannot be separated. But but on the other hand, this aspect of spiritual thing is uh, something that we have to take care separately in a way mm -hmm. in relation of course the relation of the physical aspects should not be uh, should always be respected right uh, but but we really need a present develop uh, more in interest and cultivate spiritual growth. So to take it seriously, mm -hmm. usually in a consumer society, if it has a price tag and it has a measurement and it has a quality, you can compare it, then people take it seriously. But if there's no, if it's precious, if it's priceless, there's no price on it, mm -hmm. then people don't think it's serious. Actually, the, this, tr this tendency is, oh, has already been started. In, in the in many parts of the world, and on the other hand, the quite the um, not the opposite, but the quite con contrary to that, uh, what should I um, paying more respect to spirituality? The, the, the something contradictory is also getting strong. Okay. In, so for, people who reject the consumerism or the economic or physical uh, approach. They're looking for something different. Uh, there, there, so there, there's a two, in a way, divide is taking place now. But um, in my opinion, but the, those people who are, who are more interested in spiritual, spirituality is growing bigger and bigger, thanks to maybe Trump's. <laughs> the, 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 the existence like that is a, uh, <laughs> so when there are bad things happening in the environment or politics or technology, some bad things are threatening, then people look for a way to escape or to survive, to get away from the evil, bad things. Mm, um, after all, after, um, if you ask me if I, would, if I am optimistic or otherwise, I am optimistic. Um, the history proves it, I think. Um, let's, let's just not think that in the old days, like ancient Greek was a nicer, pl nicer place, or, or the Edo period. A nostalgic or, point of view. <laughs> it's just a nostalgia. Uh -huh. There are uh, so many, <laughs> you know, awful things happening, and, and we are human being, human races trying to make it better. Mm. Not everybody, no. but some people. Oh, so <laughs> the thing is that the, those, the, the existence of those, uh, in my mind, <laughs> negative aspect is important to learn. Okay. So we can, we can learn from uh, Mr. Trump. Uh -huh. There are so many things to learn from him. Uh -huh. Let's not just uh, fight or let's just uh, think, think of... He he think of me as an evil, but oh. I don't think I don't think he's evil. Uh -huh. But I think we can learn from him. Yeah, okay. negative. <laughs> Even negative things can teach you. Of course, uh -huh. of course. Like you know what? Um, some people, um, many 
Buddhist um, uh, priest say in his uh, talking that uh, uh, there's a good thing and bad things in life. And one of the um, one of my um, a, a, a man who who has a, who who. Uh, who support our temple, who, who's died. His life was not so good. He was alcoholic, but uh, he stopped at the end. Yeah. But his relation, he, he didn't manage well in his family, was uh, almost yeah. broken, broken up. But, uh, but in the end, he, he said that uh, good and bad um, comes and go, uh -huh. just like uh, the ocean wave, oh. and, and it is so. And people tend to think that um, my some people, some people in Japan in, ja in Japan, age, age the people. Some many people think that I don't want to uh, experience any hardships. Mm. Just good and good and mm. always good. And then there's a sudden death. That's idea that that's some people idea. say. Okay. But that's that's not how. Uh, life, con life is not like that. Life has good and bad, yeah. and just like ocean waves. Okay. And there's a, there's a, I know, it's a, there's a phrase, everything doesn't stay the same. Uh, that's a one key uh, Buddha teaching. Uh, impermanence. Impermanence, yes. Mm -hmm. So, good things stay a while. And then comes the bad things, but bad thing doesn't stay all the time, and good things come. Uh -huh. so it's like a good and bad. The important thing is to learn from both of them. Oh. From the good, you can learn. Uh -huh. From the bad, you can learn. In my experience, you can learn more from bad experience if you if you are consistent. Um, if you pay attention, pay, um, persistent. Okay. okay. You can learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. If people praise you and say, you're a good boy, a good boy, then you don't think about mm -hmm. anything. But if they criticize, then you say, why did they say that? And you mm -hmm. begin to think about it. So, so, But getting back to the first question, with the generation now and the coming generations, you think there is some interest now in spiritual things, which is good, but there are still so many people who are distracted or escaping or not giving any serious attention to their spiritual life. So that's just talking abstractly, but if you think of a very specific uh, advice for young people now or in the future, what are some ways they can uh, stop what they're doing and just uh, take one step to reflect mm. or to think? Or what are some things you can change about your life that will lead you to a spiritual awareness? <laughs> there are many ways I know. Each yeah, person yeah. finds this a different way. Well, mm, as a Buddhist monk, my suggestion is to develop your interest in religion and not 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 just accept it as as a teaching, a, a, not as a teaching, but there is many important things to learn. And to inherit, and to um, what should I teach to the next generation. And it's time to time for the religion to change, of course. But uh, but moral moral morality is pe people's in Japan. People say so much that the morality is important. Uh, we we we've, um, what should I say? Um, in the old days, moral was taught, and then, then people are not moral anymore. Mo moral interest, Mor moral is is maybe that that's one thing. It might be you might develop your interest, but uh, religion is more than that. How about weeding? Is weeding oh, a good, good, a good yeah. technique? Oh. Well, to, to be more specific, um, as a Buddhist monk, uh, practice is, 
practice is important, not just thinking or, or um, studying. St studying or the uh, don't you, you don't learn from uh, those uh, lexicographical <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge comes from knowledge that can be expressed in terms of words. Mm -hmm. That's not all. So B Buddhist, Buddhism emphasizes practice. One thing is sitting still. Meditation is one thing. Ours is a repetition of mantra, simple phrase. Namo Amidabha. Yeah, Namo Amidabha. And we, uh, and the same thing can, same effect can, uh, we can experience from reading, or for that matter, um, anything, anything. Walking. Walking, that's nice. And driving can be good, but un un unless you're careful, uh, on condition that you're careful not to drive fast and this, uh, the, the road is straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something that, that uh, d don't always look outside, observe inside, uh -huh. <laughs> look inside yourself. You have the ability to do that. As our eyes are supposed to look outside but uh, our consciousness our interest our the, the different eye with the with the heart eye so to speak you can look inside uh -huh. and you can learn from who you are who we are born with and that's that's many many people many uh, uh, decent uh, christian or muslim maybe those Bodh Bodh Buddhists, Buddhists uh, Hindus, Hindus, all kinds religion, of religions. Religion has something. So religion is a key, um, and when when we develop a religion that works in the modern world, science is a. People say that science. Um, uh, oh, th this this might uh, this might help you understand what I say. Um, one one um, priest from Sri Lanka said that uh, Buddhism is scientific. <laughs> Buddhism is scientific. Because you observe? I, I, I'm not, I don't agree with that. Oh. <laughs> I don't agree with that. Um, because Buddhism or any nice religion Real religion include science. Science cannot. People, t scientific mind, men, people who have the scientific mentality tend to think that the, they try to explain away the Buddhism by science, which is a, which is no more than a rational rationalization. Rationalization. But the, our existence is not just a rational being, emotional, just like that, spiritual, physical, the total thing. And so you're saying the spiritual is a very big thing, and one piece of it is science, the natural world, the observed mm -hmm. world, the measurements of the world. But outside of this, there's a larger... Larger, yes. Yeah, science, like science helps. Mm. Science helps. It will... It, it, it it fits will, into religion. Mm -hmm. Science will grow more, more and more, in and in, in a rapid pace, as a matter of fact. So we really have to be in rush, maybe, to be to develop our it's better religion. science. Yeah, better, better spiritual, spiritual practices. practice, okay. spiritual interest. But when you say religion, you don't mean just the buildings or the rules or the structure or the system. You mean religion as a way of being. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. Who, who you are. Yeah. To observe who you are. It, it, that, that's, the, the comment itself is very uh, suggestive. You observe who you are and who's observing you is 
is what the Ikatali or uh-huh. those those people. Uh, Richard Rohr. Rohr. Yeah. And Buddhist monks. Mm. So there's something big in ourselves. Who's observing ourselves? Who's observing? I don't know. Some people say call it God, but mm. but I, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> so if you fast forward to the next generation, long after you have died, but somehow you can come back to see this ground, this temple, this place. <laughs> Do you think many things will still be about like it is, or would it be possibly very different? No idea. No idea. No idea. Um, I I really want uh, this poem to us to be to stay beautiful, and we have the power to make it. In, in my opinion, it. It was more beautiful back when there was no science, I guess. There, there, there was a river back on the back of the temple. And uh, the other day, my mother said that the, the river was very clean. At one time? One time, mm-hmm. when, when she was a child. Oh. But when I was a child, it was dirty. Oh. There was a... I don't know, factory? Factory. A small one. Mm-hmm. But, and two factories, one one uh, dye uh, cloth, okay, and uh, the other uh, uh, take um, produce cutlery, right? Metal tools. Cutlery was was a state long time ago. Yeah. But cutlery also has a has has um, damage to the environment, but it was not that strong because of my mother. When my mother was a child, there was the cutlery. Mm-hmm. And, and the other thing is the food, food uh, develop, developing development. I love uh, fish and they, um, they... They used to catch fish? No, no, no. They cook. I mean, they... <laughs> what, what? Clean the fish? No, no. There's a small factory there mm-hmm. and they cut fish and everything. They produce is fish f- fish Pro- product. Pro- <laughs> processing. Processing. Fish yeah. processing. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, so the waste would go so into the go river. Into the river. Oh. So it was very, very dirty. Uh-huh. And so now we have so much science, so much knowledge, so many tools to measure things. We have so much more knowledge. <laughs> but you think in a way that without the knowledge before, long ago, mm-hmm. that there was more beauty because less knowledge, or nature itself has a power, power of beauty. I mean, uh, the nature itself has a beauty, and people f- began. Many people began to forget or give up the beauty of the planet Earth, and that that was very sad. Mm. And some people even say that uh, there's a time come when uh, we have to leave the Earth to. Mm. <laughs> Survive to survive. Oh my! To immigrate to the the nearest planet, something like that, and that that's ridiculous. Don't spend money on developing rockets to to, to travel outside. The space is not a place for for our residents. It's a maybe. It's good for the prison. Some if you leave them there, then they cannot come back. But the, they just did spend money on making this planet Earth as beautiful as it had, it was before. And it has the power, power to, I mean, uh, the, the, the nature has the power to do that. That's a good